Nope, it didn't. That's pretty funny. Huh. Interesting. I'm trying to figure out this deck tracker thing myself. Um... Against a shaman. Here, we'll just go with new deck. Invested Torin. Because we have a bunch of four drops. <clears throat> so, four mana, seven, seven. Go ahead, drop it. clear? Ah, oh, perfect. Perfect draw. Thank you. I'm sure that guy is very mad. Ah, drugs. Blah, blah. There's multiple things I could do next turn if I don't. There is a lot at stake here. Yeah, that card's a problem. card to draw. Better attack. Hmm. Okay. So this can go multiple ways, but let's see what happens. Ah, perfect. I got the best one. Perfect. Perfect outcome. I took the best card that he had, and I had to take care of the other one, so... Wow, a hex. You're gonna need that hex later, buddy. Hate to tell ya.
four damage lightning bolt. Okay. How many fingers do you have? I can evolve. That's kind of fun. I'll never have that many things. Oh my god, do I die? Wait... No. Unless he's got a card that does damage, no. He's considering trading. Okay, I don't die. That's fine. Pretty sure I don't die if I do this, unless he's got Doomhammer and Rockbiter in his. Mm. I'm gonna live in a world where he can't just kill me. It's a greedy play, but <clears throat> it's subjectively a better one. Let's see top decks either Rockbiter or Doomhammer. This is a safe play. And he has the other one in his hand. Unless his exact two cards are Doomhammer and Rockbiter, I don't lose. The fact that he's playing a totem means he probably doesn't have it. Here's where we crush his spirit a little bit. Just a pinch of it. <laughs> I didn't even Reno. <laughs> that would have crushed his soul a little bit. Rank 11. 